G'day YouTube, in today's video I'll be making a flip top bench cart. So grab yourself a nice cold drink and enjoy the video. I'll begin by assembling the base frame first. The pocket hole jig comes in really handy as the frame will be held together by screws. I use a standard drill and I have it set up on a low speed because I want to feel when the screw bites into the adjoining timber. All square, ready to go. The material that I'll be using will be 19 millimeter or three quarter inch marine ply. I will cut six panels at 745mm by 545mm, which is 29 inches by 21 and a half inches. Okay, more pre-drilling holes for the lower back and the draw section. Inserting the screws in such a narrow space was a challenge, but we got there in the end. Next up, attaching the caster wheels to the bottom frame. The 
these caster wheels are excellent quality and I'm sure they'll perform really well. I place the three quarter inch pipe into position using offcuts as middle packers. The packers are then clamped firmly. I begin to pre drill the holes and then attach the screws. I've added the third layer of ply to the top, clamped into position and pre-drilled the holes. And finally, attach the screws into place. Ready now to bore a hole on both top panels to allow for the three quarter inch pipe to pass through. I'll now recess a cavity on each corner to allow the eyeball to sit in place. I made several passes with the router using a 5 16 router bit. The two upper side panels were also recessed using the same 5 16 router bit. Once again, making several passes. Here I'm countersinking the four corners to allow the bolt head and nut to sit flush with the laminated boards. You'll notice that I'm only drilling halfway through the board. Experience has taught me that drilling all the way through will never be 100% vertical. Very important to create a countersunk cavity wider than your socket set. With all four eye bolts secured in position, I will now assemble the flip top bench. Yep, got to be happy with that.
The threaded wing knob had an external flange which I delicately machined on an old belt sander. Once flush, I glued a large washer on the inside wing knob. Where's a reciprocator saw when you need one? Why use a hand file when you've got a grinder? Washer in place and cotter pin ready to go. This bad boy weighs 90 pounds, so I'm not taking any chances. Once I was happy with the thickness's position, I then marked and pre-drilled four corner holes. I will be using 4 inch M8 hex bolts with lock nuts.
Okay, now for the big test. And boy, am I glad I had this bad boy bolted down securely. I'll be adding a disc belt sander to hopefully counterbalance the weight. Next up, the belt and disc sander. At almost 42 pounds, I will secure it into place using three coach screws. Okay, time to install the drawer sliders. Here I'm creating a router cavity on a pine strip to allow the drawer base to slide in. Okay, time to knock up the drawer. I must admit, I'm very impressed with these pocket hole screws. Oh, remember that pine strip with a cavity in it? Well, this is what it's going to be used for.
I managed to salvage an old refrigerator handle and I reckon this is going to look real cool when it's finished. The drawer's now finally completed. Now, time for the install. To complement the flip top table cart, I've also added an extension lead with cable tidy. I like it because the colour also complements the thicknesser. Hey guys, if you enjoyed watching this video, please smash the like button. Oh, and one more thing, please consider subscribing to my little channel. Go on.